New information this noon as Waterbury police investigate that city's first murder of this year. It happened overnight at the intersection of Boyden and Hanover Streets. Police say a man on a motorcycle was confronted and shot. News 8 Sally Reed takes us to the scene to get reaction from neighbors. Police have been here on the scene all morning investigating a murder they say happened at 2 a.m. right here at the corner of Hanover and Boyden Streets. Police say the victim was driving a T-Rex two-seated three-wheeled motorcycle through this Waterbury neighborhood when he was confronted by two men and shot multiple times by one of them. He's a really good kid. I was just talking to him yesterday. Maggie Benilla says the victim's nine-year-old daughter is her niece. He's a really good kid, loving father. Um, everybody loved him. He's well known in the community. Um, it's really sad to see this happen. You know. Residents were surprised to wake up to the news that the first murder to happen in Waterbury this year took place in their backyard. This resident lives two doors down from where the man was killed. What did you hear last night? About eight gunshots last night. That's what I heard. What time? About one o'clock in the morning. So that's when I know. Did you see anything? No, I was inside the house. One resident told us there's a man who rides around the neighborhood on a T-Rex bike and she says she heard him on it last night. The gunning of the vehicle and, you know, and then it was like he was going up a hill, you know, and then coming down. I hear him. If it's the same person, he comes to the top of Wheeler, takes a left on to Cook and comes down Boyden. Police haven't revealed the victim's identity, so it's unclear whether the man she heard last night was the one who was shot dead early this morning. I guess somebody was trying to steal his bike, you know, people and the world, God only knows, you know, but... He's a well-loving kid, and we just want to find out who did this to him. Many residents we talked to said the gunfire startled them awake around 1.30 this morning. One woman we talked to says she's lived here for 30 years and says she's shocked this would happen in her quiet residential neighborhood. The incident does remain under investigation. Reporting on the scene in Waterbury, Allie Reed, News 8. And again, still no word on the victim's identity or if police have any suspects in the case.